What's up, my guys? Salam Mike. Talk a little bit about deadlift and general training. Things I've learned um, from what the majority of people consider the best powerlifter of all time, Ed Cohen. Um, Ed Cohen is a lifter that lifted mostly 80s, 90s, uh, smashed a lot of world records. Um, Powerlifting is a little difficult because records are different by federation and standard of the lift by barbell and timing and all this. Uh, a lot of his records arguably were more difficult back in the day. He had two hour weigh-ins opposed to now 24 hour weigh-ins. Um, he used a stiffer bar to deadlift which does make it often more difficult to deadlift for many. Um, sometimes he even had to follow himself in a lift um, similar to weightlifting where the bar never goes downwards it only goes upwards you may have to follow yourself in attempt where now it always goes um, by flight so you you the whole group will go before you go point being he's one tough lifter mentally physically uh, and I've, I've got the honor to get to know him over the years um, to learn from him to observe from him uh, many things I've learned from him not only were uh, things we talked about but things I just observed in his lifting or videos over time uh, I've studied his lifts many a time not because we're similar by any means uh, he's much stronger than I uh, but he is uh, and built a little different than me but he obviously found greatness in the strength sport uh, and in life because he's one of the most humble uh, nicest guys you'll ever meet um, whether it is observing talking to him and learning or even just hearing things he said that uh, reaffirm some of the things I'm doing and make me feel that I'm on the right path um, feel great so uh, common questions hopefully that will answer in this thing are how to improve the deadlift speed off the ground how to improve your deadlift a flatter back some of the uh, things we're going to try to cover through Ed Cohn's lessons um, and one big thing I talk about is deadlifting like Ed Cohn or the Ed Cohn style deadlift um, will help starting position general just good technique and position flattening your back through the deadlift and then uh, speed off the ground something just chatting with you know Mr. Cohn Eddie uh, is he always had a plan you know the guy was well thought out with not all his programming his prep his training in general uh, and although his style of training maybe not doesn't work for everyone he was kind of a lower frequency higher volume type guy uh, similar to how I program he was fairly submaximal he always um, trained within his means leaving a few reps in the tank he, he normally uh, although some of his reps were a little grindy he only went to really tech technical failure he didn't really um, break his form to lift heavier uh, whether in training um, especially training sometimes a meet you know uh, crapola hits the fan we got to watch the cursing for YouTube nowadays uh, but he always kept within technical failure and he also saved a few reps in the tank another thing programming wise he always had a plan he always had a programming you guys know uh, anything in life uh, business uh, the, the, the top business people I met the top lifters I met the top bodybuilders I met they always have a plan if you want to get from here to here you have to have a plan to get there uh, if you're trying to go to the store if you're trying to go out of town if you're trying to drive somewhere you have to have a map to take you there and that's what programming that's what plan is uh, and within that programming he was very sub maximal um, in much of his off season and, and, and the majority of his prep uh, much like the, the processes and techniques I use to coach and program as well as something he often did was work backwards uh, find a realistic goal at the end and he'd find a goal uh, that he feel he could accomplish at the meet and then work backwards in his programming and that's something similar I do with a lot of people uh, that I coach uh, online or in person with their prep I'll, I'll see what's realistic towards the end on the platform for top three attempts and start to work backwards and how we're gonna prep for that meet those are all awesome lessons I've, I've learned through uh, reading his stuff, watching his stuff, and then obviously getting to hang out and chat with him. Uh, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is just observation of how he lifts um, is what I, I, I want to take claim for this, uh, even though it's his lift that I'm taking claim for. So put it however you want, but the Ed Cohn style deadlift is something that I observed him do, um, where in a, in, a, in a sense of the word, it is a control eccentric, and he would allow his hips to lead the way, pulling the bar, or allowing the bar to pull him into a better starting position, rep after rep. Um, you know, typically when you're talking to powerlifters, there's the touch and go rep, and then there's the dead stop rep, or even a full reset where you're stepping away from the bar and going throughout uh, a higher rep set. But uh, something I saw Ed Cohn do and that I implemented myself, which helped me uh, hit PRs and flatten my back in the deadlift, as well as helped a lot of people that I've um, led to the platform or, or that I've programmed for and coached along the way. It's allowing that bar to pull you down, knees out, hips back, depending on the lift, obviously, that's kind of the sumo lift. Um, hips back, flat back, uh, knees uh, just behind the bar on the conventional, pulling the bar, pulling you down into position, into that starting position, and without re-pumping your hips or anything, allow maybe uh, 80, 
90, even 100% of the bar to uh, lay back on the ground and then pull from there. I guess, you know, you would call it somewhere in between that touch and go and the dead stop rep. Um, but I called it the Ed Cone style deadlift. It's helped so many find a better position. Often what you'll find is if you're doing it controlled manner that way and you're training submaximal, obviously you can't do this always. Some people can with 90, 95, 100%, uh, the risk for injury goes up. But if you're doing it with 60, 70, and even 80%, your second, third, fourth rep almost become better. And if you do that rep after rep, week after week, training day after training day, uh, then your starting position overall, uh, muscle memory, whatever you wanna call it, motor pattern, um, proprioception gets better and you'll find that starting position on your singles when you do them. Um, you know, Ed's a big, a big fan of reps in general. And obviously nowadays people are studying all this stuff, daily undulating periodization and all these fancy words to get more volume, more work, more frequency in. Uh, but everyone knows that uh, uh, volume over days, weeks, months, years is what's uh, one of the main drivers in strength and hypertrophy. So when Ed says he's a fan of reps or reps drive your form and reps drive your strength, it all kind of means the same thing. And if you're doing them in this style with your deadlift, I do believe you'll hit new PRs. Um, when I find people with funky back positions, when I find people with bad starting positions or weak off the ground, um, this is something that I, I prescribe right away. We go back, break it back down to maybe 60%, 70% for sets of five, and we'll do it in this style. Uh, obviously, there's some other things that help. Just pulling heavy singles, um, you know, in the 85, 90% range, allow you to get a little bit of confidence and allow you to um, practice that starting position under heavier loads. But if I find if you have a good progression, good programming over time, uh, and you work, you know, maybe from that 60% range to that 80, 90 as you prep, uh, the speed, the bar speed stays very similar, and so will that starting position over time. Uh, it teaches you how to breathe and brace tightly, uh, breathing in the midsection, using a belt, flexing your lats, keeping that bar close to you, both on the way up and and the way down uh, with that controlled eccentric. Uh, and when I say controlled, we're not doing a five second eccentric. You know, people talk about eccentric training. That's a whole other topic for a whole other day. Um, this is just kind of controlled chaos or be quick but don't hurry or all these phrases you want to control it on the way down and have control of that bar into your skin into position um, but it doesn't have to be obnoxious or, or absurdly long this is something i suggest a lot of you guys try out again with lighter weights um, following some kind of program uh, it doesn't have to be my coaching it could be any great coach out there but having some kind of plan in my opinion is better than not having a plan especially when you're talking powerlifting. Uh, strength is not linear strength is not static uh, when you're powerlifting, your goal is to be strong on a particular day to represent a one rep max and even with your uh, strength training in general it's very difficult to hit maxes every single week uh, and progress although i know comments are going to be bulgarian method this and that and that does work for some uh, but generally speaking the body does not last a long time uh, and if you want to build muscle and be generally strong uh, that's a whole different goal if we're talking about a sport like football or something of that nature if you're powerlifting, if you want to get that deadlift max up suggest programming Try out the Ed Cohen style deadlift. I wanted to make this video. Hopefully we have some good examples in the back. Give it a thumbs up because it's something I prescribe to a lot of people and I just want to revamp the topic so people have something to refer to uh, when they're learning that style deadlift. Appreciate you guys. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. I'm out of here.